Going through my paddy open water course with my instructor Mark was a real blast. And just the start of my Borneo Ocean Diary adventures. But what a start it was! Mark also passed me the contact for the founder of a local marine NGO here in Kota Kinabalu. And I'm going to meet with them now to learn all about their work. Ah, it's another beautiful day here in Kota Kinabalu. And I'm down at the Sutra Harbor Marina to meet with the team from the Marine Research Foundation led by Dr. Nicholas Pilcher. Hey, you must be Alex. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll just come down and join you. I'll see you at the back. Hey. Hello, you Alex. must be Dr. Nicholas Pilcher. Ah, uh, Nick. Call me Nick. Very informal around here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is Tortuga Madre? Yes. Yeah, this is, this is our home. Yeah, Tortuga Madre. It's um, turtle mother in Spanish. Okay. Right, because we work on sea turtles, this is the big mothership. Yeah. Come on in. Let me introduce you to the team. This is Liana. Hi. Liana, this is Alex. And nice to meet you. Um, over the back there, we have Casey. Hello. That's Hi, Casey. Me. And Mei in the background. Hello. That's Jonathan over there on fuel. Hi. This is my daughter, Leilana, Hi. who just Hi. came from school. Hi. Oh. Right. So she's helping out as well. And in the back, the big boss, my <laughs> wife, Carmen. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome on board. Oh. Let me show you up here. Okay. Oh. So this is going to be home for the next five days. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to Mantanani. It's an island about 90 kilometers north of here, sort of going out that way. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to be catching sea turtles. Awesome. Yep. But the whole reason for doing this is to check the status of the sea turtle population up there. I do have one thing to, th to tell you. Mm -hmm. I get seasick. All right, look, on a boat like this, you really don't need to worry. It's a big boat. Um, keep your eyes on the horizon. And keep, keep staring out and you'll be fine. I'll be fine. All right. Okay. So um, let's get cracking. Let's go. All right. I quickly join in and help where I can. And I am amazed at the amount of supplies and fuel that is being packed and filled into the boat. It seems this is going to be a mammoth trip. Nick tells me they need over 12 thousand liters of fuel for a research trip like this. It feels amazing to be out on the ocean. It's such a lovely day and I can see Sabah's iconic Mount Kinabalu rising up on the horizon. What an incredible sight! Nick talks me through all of the boat's state-of-the-art navigational equipment and how important and fundamental the boat is to their marine research and I immediately get the sense that marine research isn't cheap. Here's an interesting fact. The Mantanani Islands form a small group of three islands off the northwest coast of the state of Sabah, Malaysia, opposite the town of Kota Belud in northern Borneo. The largest island is Mantanani Besar. The other two are Mantanani Kecil and Lungisan. The name of the island is a compound of the Bajau Ubian word Manta, meaning blanket, and Nani, the name of a mighty man who fought the enemies that previously had the blanket. Wow! This is my first visit to Mantanani Island and I think I've just arrived in paradise. Okay, I better go see what I can do to help. Hey Carmen, is there anything I can do to help? Yes, please. Um, would you help me do lunch? Oh, what do I need to get? Get the cucumbers and the tomatoes out, please, and the mayonnaise. We're just having sandwiches. So. After a quick healthy lunch, I'm taken out on my first turtle rodeo. Alright, so Alex, you come along on this trip. Jonathan, you're on this trip. We'll be Team A. You guys, uh, Diana, AC, Mei, Team B, we'll do that. We'll switch out. Alright? And uh, time to go and catch some turtles. What do you think? Ready? 
I don't know how good I'll be jumping off a speeding boat on top of a, a swimming turtle, but I'll give it my best. There you go. Best is all we could hope for. <laughs> all right, come on, let's go. The next several hours were exhausting as we raced about locating turtles in the shallows and each taking turns in jumping in to catch and wrestle the turtles to the surface. Nick tells me all new turtles caught without tags are tagged straight away so they know where and when they were first caught. Tagging is a straightforward process and similar to us humans having our ears pierced, but the tags are bigger. Others already have tags showing they've been caught before and should be in their record system already. Nick goes on to inform me that it's perfectly fine for the turtles to remain out of the water like this for a short while but the team wastes no time in getting prepped ready for the scientific data collection to minimize their stress. If you go up, Alex. And then... That's it. And on the floor. So we've successfully caught five turtles. I unfortunately did not get to catch any. Jonathan caught them all. He's such a pro. That was an intense turtle rodeo session. So what are we doing now? All right. Well, so the first thing is to find out the tags. Uh, if a turtle already has a tag and it doesn't have another one, it gets a second tag. And the reason for that is that once that turtle comes back to us as a recapture, mm -hmm. it, it has a lot of value because now we can find out how much it's grown we can find out how long it's been living here. We can find out a lot of things. So it gets a second tag just in case something happened with the first one and it fell off. Mm -hmm. After that, we measure each one. And each turtle gets measured by two independent researchers. Mm -hmm. And it gets measured to the millimeter. Right? There's no point just taking a measurement and thinking, oh, it's 36. Yeah. So we, we do this very accurately and two independent research data gets, gets written down. Then the turtles get weighed, so we have a, a body mass. And then if any of the turtles are new, so new to the, to the program, yeah. then they will get laparoscoped. Now that's a, a small little surgical procedure that we use to find out whether they're male or female. I see. And remember, the whole point of this is to determine what is the population structure, how many males, how many females, and whether or not climate change is having an impact. Bye, turtle. What a crazy day it's been, and we've only left the marina this morning. You know, time really flies by when you're on trips like these, but they're such a blast every single time. How's it like working with your mom and dad? Uh, I mean, I've been doing this since I was a kid. I've always been surrounded by the ocean. My sisters used to catch before me, and it's taken me a few years to really feel comfortable in this environment and feel like I'm really making a difference, but I think you know, all in all, it's really just leading me for what I want to do in the future. And my parents are always so supportive of that, and so of my sisters. Yeah, I mean, to see you work so closely with your dad, it's such a cool thing to see you carrying out work that can actively make a difference in marine sea turtle conservation. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm in my last year of school. I'm leaving for university at the end of the year, and I'm trying to make the most of the time that I have left with my parents. And it's great doing this kind of stuff because it gives me this kind of like advantage, this kind of boost for what I want to do in university and I really enjoy it. I have a pure interest and love for this kind of work and I love conservation. That's really great to hear. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of mixed feelings when it comes time yeah. for you to leave for university. Yeah. Oh, and here's mom now. 
How do you feel, Carmen? Your baby daughter's about to fly out of the coop and go to university. Don't say that! <laughs> no, my baby's not going. Yes, she is. I know she's going, but, well, she may, be have, may have to leave, but I still have my responsibility here, and I will miss all of them. My daughters have all left, will be leaving once she leaves then it'll be my babies with MRF. Yeah, you've got your hands tied up with the MRF team. Well, yeah, like my own kids too. You really are a super mom. And, might I add, a super good cook, because I can smell dinner and it oh, smells thank you. amazing. Early next morning, we are straight back out on the water in search of more turtles, and it's not long before we see our first action. Well, this is Borneo Ocean Diaries. for the first time, they go snorkeling. I come to Mantanani for the first time and I jump off a speeding boat trying to catch a turtle. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna release these two. So, okay, not yet. Uh, we're gonna go to the kampong. We're gonna work with a local NGO, Reef Check, um, and we'll be doing some community awareness with the school kids at the kampong. Great! Can I okay. go now? So, it's back in the chase boat, and we take our two selected turtle ambassadors ashore and meet up with Asmin of Reef Check Malaysia, as well as a group of school children and villagers from the Mantanani Island community. Everyone seems very excited. Hi. 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 Ni kawan saya, ni Alex. Hello. Saya Eliana. Kamu tahu ini penyu apa? Penyu ni, nama dia penyu hijau. Siapa tahu uh, berapa umur penyu ni? Tiga. Tiga tahun lagi. Okay, lagi. Over the next 20 minutes, Liana informs the children why sea turtles are endangered and what they can do to help save and protect them for the future. Okay. 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 Let's go. Bye. Bye. Wow, that was amazing with the kids just now, Azmin. Thank you so much for organizing the no program. No problem. Yeah, no problem. And and education is just part of our program, a long-term program, Mantanani. And we we have more. And I'd love to show you uh, that kind of programs uh, in, in Mantanani. Yeah, but I, I really gotta go. I don't have much no, time. No I promise yeah. I'll come back. Totally understood. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. What an intense trip this has been, but such an amazing experience. Well, I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, the, the science that is the backbone of this is what's important. Uh, this isn't just for catching turtles, it's to try and find out things like what are the impacts of climate change. Mm. And Malaysia happens to have this perfect setup and we can, we can capture turtles and we can actually answer that question. Um, so, so our work is all about science to answer management questions. Mm. And, and it doesn't end just with this sort of work. We, we work with saving sea turtles in fisheries using turtle excluder devices. Mm. Uh, we're looking at trying to find management solutions for bycatch of sharks and rays. All of it is aimed at the science to answer management questions. Mm. We've got all of this different work. Why don't you come and join us? I look forward to it. Excellent. <laughs> it's been an incredible trip with Dr. Nick, his family and the MRF team. This adventure has been a real trial by fire. But it's been amazing 
to not only see these incredible animals up close and personal, but also spend time with the dedicated folks that are actively trying to understand their lives and how best to protect them in the future. And I can't wait to see what they have in store for me next, here on Borneo Ocean Diaries.